。在英国人民用选票决定脱离欧盟之后，欧盟六大创始成员国的外交部长二十五号紧急在德国首都柏林开会，大家一起来磋商如何应应脱欧带来的种种状况。其中，法国外交部长艾罗就公开直言，要求英国要走赶快走，马上开始脱欧的程序。只是英国和欧盟分道扬镳之后呢，金融巨鳄索罗斯可就损失惨重。索罗斯也出面表示说，未来欧盟的瓦解将是不可逆转的，而英国脱欧的后果也将会对国内经济造成冲击。Are we about to see an ununited kingdom? As the UK referendum ends in favour of leaving the EU, the result has exposed deep divisions in the country. 英国公投决定脱离欧盟，首当其冲的就是发起公投的英国首相卡麦隆。他的这场政治豪赌不仅激化了英国社会的仇外、种族主义，并造成国家严重分裂。同时，他也为了这场弄假成真的公投，付出了相当大的代价。I will do everything I can as Prime Minister to steady the ship over the coming weeks and months, but I do not think it would be right for me to try to be the captain. That steers our country to its next destination, but in my view, we should aim to have a new prime minister in place by the start of the Conservative Party conference in October. 根据外媒报道，镜头前强忍情绪的卡麦隆，在发表完辞职演说之后，回到首相官邸，一看到亲信们伤感落泪，终于也忍不住开始哭了起来。Prime Minister David Cameron has been meeting with Queen Elizabeth after announcing that he will resign in the coming months. What comes next? No one really knows. 卡麦隆在这一回公投中把自己的政治前途给赌掉，而无法逃避提出公投的责任，脱欧污名也会永远玷污他的声誉。欢迎新闻综合报道。